Good morning guys, welcome back to today's vlog. I just got finished, I'm trying to find my sunglasses and go outside. I just got finished filming a Mother's Day type video. It's like a collab video that I'm doing with some other moms on YouTube. So I just got done filming that and now I've got to go water my garden and uh, the kids are outside playing with the puppies. So everyone's oot in a boot and it's time to really begin our day. Come on baby! I can't run away with it! Good morning! Good morning! Hi. Got some... Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> We're playing fetch with... Oh fetch. my gosh, I can't pronounce that. We're playing fetch with Oliver. Uh-huh. Where is Ollie? Oh, there. He's eating food on the porch right now. Of course he is. Oh, lolly, lolly. Anyways, I I mowed the grass last Hi. night up here with oh, a push mower. Lally. You know, my parents have the zero turn that we usually oh. use out on the whole property. Well, she does. My mom does the mowing <laughs> most of the time. But uh, I, my dad brought over his push mower so I could mow this. Aslan is trying to kill my baby bird. Ow. Anyways, but I thought it was funny because a lot of times you guys will message me or comment or something and say like, wow, you you know seem to know how to do all this stuff. And especially when I do like DIY things or project videos and stuff, people will be like, wow, you can you know drive the tractor and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, okay, here's the reality. I said this to my dad yesterday. I realized that I'm 36 years old and yesterday was the first time that I've ever used a push mower. I've ever used a push lawn mower. I've never done it before. I lived with my parents, then I lived in an apartment with roommates and no place to mow, then we got married, then we, when we had a house with a yard to mow, CR mowed the lawn. So I've never mowed the lawn. <laughs> I've never used a push mower. Yesterday was the first time. I don't know if I should be ashamed of that or embarrassed by that, but it's my first time using a mower. It was actually fun. Kind of had, kind of enjoyed it. Kind of think, uh, I might be wanting to do some more of that in the future. I think I just like the satisfaction of uh, seeing the, you know, the grass grow from tall and unruly to like short and looking nice. It's just like the tangible satisfaction of the job that I enjoy. What's up, girlfriend? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, I like to cut hair again. No, no don't cut your hair again. I didn't tell them about that. I wasn't going to, but since you bring it up, Miss Rue took some scissors to her hair and took a chunk out of the front of her hair. Yep. Mommy wasn't happy, was I? Yep. No. Nope. 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 That's right. She's like, nope. <laughs> so we're not going to do that again, are we? You guys stop going through your old buckets. I have got to get up to their room and go through their clothes because she keeps coming down in shirts. Like I have bought all these new clothes for her and they go in her drawer and then she just is constantly wearing her old stuff that I've put away to either pass down or donate and she's constantly wearing it. What's up? What? Oh, you see the daddy birds flying around? Uh-huh. They left the nest, mom. They're not in there anymore. They're not in there anymore. <laughs> I was just saying to Sierra this morning, like how crazy is it that with birds, it's like one day they're in the nest and one day they're gone. But what makes that even crazier is to think that like the mama bird watches over them constantly. She goes and gets their food they, and they stay in this one little spot. Hold on, babe. They stay in this one little spot. Like if you took my kids and said, I want you all to sit in a bowl and you have to stay in this bowl for weeks and weeks and weeks and don't fight and don't touch each other and don't come out and don't knock each other out and stuff. They would never do that. And then one day she just goes, go fly, boop, kicks them out of the nest and they fly away. And the process, it's not a simple, it's not like a, a, a long drawn out thing. They just, they don't have like a childhood. <laughs> it's like you're a baby, you stay here and now out, go, get out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do I have something to share with you today? I am, y'all. I've discovered something amazing. And let me tell you why. Okay, I got my Thrive Market order. They are the sponsor of today's vlog. We love them. We've been working with them for years. If you don't know, Thrive Market is basically like an online marketplace um, for all kinds of products that are uh, healthy, non-toxic. They've got home stuff, cleaning stuff, food. If you're eating like gluten-free or dairy-free or kosher or whatever, you can find, you can sort products. They have their own like Thrive Market in-house brand and then they carry a ton of brands um, that you would know and recognize as well as some new discoveries to me that have been fantastic. So 
I order all kinds of things from them like uh, diapers and our favorite calendula baby oil and stuff like that. In this month's order, I went a little bit crazy and I'm not mad about it. I'm not sad about it. Let me just tell you, okay? I got some different snacks and some of them I already ate. I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't, I couldn't wait and I busted into the box and I already ate some of them. But I discovered, this is the hee hee hee, oh, you will love this, it will change your life candy bar. This is by Lily's, it's less sugar. It's a salted caramel chocolate bar. It's sweetened with stevia. Um, and I don't know how to explain it, but like the back side of it has like this little bit of like salt on it with the carrot. There's no like gooey caramel inside. It's just the flavor, but then there's like little, almost like chunks of salt on the back. You guys, I don't usually like no sugar added, low sugar type candies. To me, like if I'm going for candy, I'm going for the gusto. This is amazing. I've eaten three of them already. You didn't hear me say that. I got these because I really wanted to try them. Um, I wanted to get some mints to carry in my purse. With all the mask wearing, you're constantly reminded of how terrible your breath is. And so these are, like I said, Thrive Market does have their own brand, their in-house brand. And so these are their in-house brand uh, mints. And so they're xylitol sweetened and vegan friendly, aspartame free. And it's a four pack. You can buy these all individually or whatever. But this is lemon, cinnamon, peppermint, and berry. I got some more of my Smart Sweets. I told you, this one was pretty snack heavy this time. Um, I love these. The Smart Sweets are just my absolute favorite because I can sit down and pound a whole bag of them and not feel bad about it because there's only three grams of sugar in the entire bag and 120 calories in the entire bag. Yes, thank you. Got these little snacks for Benjamin. Um, he loves bars. So these are um, S'mores Blast. This is from the brand This Saves Lives for Kids. School safe, which means they're allergy safe if your kids go to school. Uh, nut free, gluten free, um, and dairy free. So we are switching Benjamin to a mostly dairy free diet. I've kind of alluded to it a little bit here and there, um, but his eczema and stuff, I, we think might be, we're working with his doctor to kind of figure out a plan, but we think it might be dairy related. So that's kind of where he's drinking almond milk and all that stuff now. So um, it's always hard for me with a big family to make dietary changes for anyone. He's young enough to not complain too much. And uh, yeah, it's a little harder the older they get. I also got some of the Super Fruit Blend Fruit Spread. So I love jams. I don't like jelly, I like jams. And so this just looked really good because it's a Super Fruit Blend. And then I got some more cashew butter. Uh, I, this I've never had this particular one before, but I wanted to try it because it's got a cap that you just untwist and then squeeze it, which is pretty genius when you think about how messy peanut butter can be. I got this Healthy Teeth and Gums Mouth Spray for kids. I feel like getting kids to brush their teeth well and flossing is a challenge. So I wanted to add this to kind of boost that stuff with their teeth. So it promotes gum health and freshens breath. Very licious, alcohol flea, 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 alcohol free and fluoride free. And it's just like this mouth spray for kids. So kind of like mouthwash, but mouth spray. Then I got, this is the Thrive Market brand, coconut vanilla foaming hand wash for our downstairs bathroom. And then I just grabbed some uh, Badger sunscreen. This is the same brand as the uh, baby oil and the calendula lotion and stuff that we love for the kids. It's that Badger brand. It's a tangerine and vanilla scent and it's a 40 SPF. So it's a natural mineral sunscreen sunscreen for all the time that we're spending outside. All right, so that's my Thrive Market order. I do have a discount code for you guys. Um, like I mentioned, it's a membership community. So you can do, they have a couple different membership options. You can do a yearly one, um, or you can do a monthly one. You can cancel at any time. Um, shipping is free on orders over $49. And they do have an app. I have transitioned to pretty much completely using the app uh, because I know a lot of the things that I like. So I just hop on there, place my order. It's very, very quick. Their shipping is super fast. Um, I've always been in by that. So the discount that I have for you guys, I will link down below in the description box, everything you need there. And it will get you 25% off your first Thrive Market order as well as a free gift. And the last thing that I always like to mention about Thrive Market, because you guys know how much I just respect and love companies that give back, brands that give back. Um, for every membership purchased, they do donate a membership to a low-income family, a family in need. So your purchase of a membership helps out another family to have a membership as 
as well. So yeah, be sure to check the description box um, for the discount. And I'm gonna go hide this last candy bar from myself. All right, so embarrassing dad moment of the day yesterday. I raced my seven-year-old son, Jonah, who's super fast. Get away from me. I know you're gonna I try smoked to lie him. to them. That's not the embarrassing part. You're I absolutely to lie to them. Don't I absolutely he barely won. He I barely won. Him. Like I turned around and Jonah started jogging. Jonah is fast as lightning. You Jonah's fast. Barely, he barely won. And this morning he comes in limping. That's the embarrassing part. I came up lame afterwards. Like I bust I don't know what I did to my knee. That's also not the embarrassing part. These white cargo shorts are on point. Oh no. Yep, I brought what? them out. Cargo shorts. I brought them out. These are my faves right here. They're light. Get worse. They're almost I, linen-y, like if you will. Um I'm really leaning into cargo season. Alright, it's I will not lean out. They're coming back in style, partly because of me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anyways, I'm getting ready to wrap my knee again because it's it's not working properly. Getting old stinks. Um, doesn't it, Millie? It stinks. Little kitty pool time, B. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Yeah, Miss Rose is gonna get the feet wet. I like it. I like it. Don't get your pants wet. Woohoo! Ta-da! Ta-da! All right, we do have a, an equipment malfunction though. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing red boxer shorts today. And that in combination with white, that in combination with white cargo shorts, probably not a good idea. Um, Aslan has the same problem. So yesterday was kind of a, a sad day around here. Uh, we had to have our big tree out front taken out yesterday. I have been doing everything in my power to avoid this happening. We had multiple people come out and the reality is, is that the tree is completely dead in the middle. Um, so it had to be taken out. I did record yesterday a little bit so you guys could see the process of the tree coming down. Old Faithful. She's she's got to come down. Well, I think it's time I let you go. Writing songs about you is getting on. Can't see your face anymore. Oh, the love I once adored. Know there's someone to make you happy instead But the love we <laughs> fought for Is tucked it, away It's probably worse than that down here Yeah We couldn't hide enough trying to find some Damn Oh, you got one of those And I was uh, probably a little more sad than I should have been like I don't know I think I was just having an emotional day but I was so sad to see it come down because it's one of the oldest trees on the property based on the rings on the inside from what we could tell it looks like it's at least 50 years old and so I was just really sad to see it have to come down but the center is completely was completely rotted out there was only like this much uh, good healthy wood around the outside ring so it made me really sad but I'm trying to see the positive so we're going to we had him keep the stump there I and mean, Sierra and I are gonna see if there's a way that we can cut it out and seal it and turn it into like a little fairy house for the twins um, and Benji to play with uh, if we can't if we can't do anything with the tree itself the stump itself then we'll have them come and grind it out and I am going to replant another tree next to that area right there. I want to put a magnolia there. And um, yeah, I was just really bummed about that, but it had to happen, so it did. Uh, we saved some of the wood, so we've got you know some that's, you know, we'll just save for firewood or whatever, but I'm thinking about using some of it for some kind of woodworking project, having someone who knows how to do that sort of thing, maybe build us something, a little side table, or just something that we could have made out of the tree. So it was just a big, beautiful tree, and I was really sad to see it have to come down. Yeah, it was a big tree, wasn't it? It's just dead over there. Yeah, it was just dead over there. Look, Mom. Yeah, that's a plant stand, a planter stand. So I've got some more stuff to work on on the front porch. I'm trying to get some more of the front landscaping done before my sisters 
baby shower next weekend or this coming weekend I should say. Mom! Yes. Oh good job. Yep see you can put them in there and then you put a plant on top of it. So I may I've got to run to the store to Tractor Supply to pick up an order that I placed there earlier for like pine shavings and stuff and then um, I may also stop and get the paint because I'm going to repaint the shutters and the uh, door on the chicken coop so that we have some continuity with our buildings um, and yeah I might uh, grab a few more gardeny things while I'm out. I've just returned with a whole lot more than I went for. I got the tractor supply order and I went and got um, I had to get some paint for the chicken coop and then I came back with what is this? What does it look like? What is Flowers. It's Mother's Day. You don't get to say anything at all. They're Look flowers to make the yard pretty. From Sue Magnolia's when she's like, it makes you pretty. When he wants to know what the wax is for. <laughs> so no, yeah, I've got no. these two and then I've got some window or like fence oh, post you. boxes or whatever that I'm going to be doing over there. Just trying to get the place looking nice before the shower. Uh. All right, now comes the fun part where I get to get all dirty and the get these in the ground. Dude, Lottie strikes again. She already got to one of Angie's new rose bushes. I'm gonna kill her. That stinking goat. <laughs> she went out back. What'd you do I've out never back? I've never eaten goat meat, but I think I'm gonna start. Oh my gosh. I love that goat. I love that goat, but for crying out loud, I mean. She's public enemy number one when it comes to plant life around here. She eats what she wants. She goes where she wants. It's amazing. It really is. Um, we just uploaded a reel on our farm Instagram handle of Lottie escaping the barnyard. And there's some funny music behind it. So if you, if you don't already, go follow um, Fairhaven Farms, I think it is, or at Fairhaven Space Farms. Anyways, there's some funny stuff up there. Howdy. What are you guys up to today? Hey, buddy. <gasps> what? What are you saying? You gonna go for a walk? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good idea. It's a good idea. Mr. Kuzco and Pacha. Oh no. See, Pacha does this all the time. I don't know if, if it's like a nervous tick for him, but whenever we come down here, he starts to mess with Cusco. So he'll like take his head and like shove his head underneath there and just start, and then they do this little dance. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I know, it's almost time to eat. It's almost time to eat, trust me. We know, you don't miss a meal. I get it. Ruthie, you been, uh, you been foraging today or what? Your nose is a little dirty. Hello, oh my gosh, hello, hello. I see you. Are you gonna let me pet you today? Nope, of course not. Cusco. The new ladies are making themselves right at home. I saw them hanging out with the llamas today over here by the hay. They are loud. They are the loudest goats we've owned so far. Louie, I see you, dude. I see you, Louis. I know, gosh. Lizy, Lizy, I will go get Shelby and she will feed you, okay? Deal. Anyways, I'm still pretty sad about our big old tree that had to come down. This little pile of wood came from some dead branches that were overhanging um, into the barnyard here. So I had the guy come and he brought his bucket truck or his bucket truck over, leaned that bad boy over and got up into this tree and cleared out a lot of the dead branches that were hanging over the barnyard here. Um, one of the first, I, we probably put this in a vlog, but one of the very first weeks that we had um, the barnyard up and animals inside of it, one of those branches had fallen down inside the barnyard. Fortunately enough, no animals were hurt. Um, but I figured, you know, that that was a very high priority. So we finally got somebody out um, who had the equipment to do what was needed. Um, but yeah, I think we're good to go with that one. We still have some more tree work to do on the property. Obviously, there's this giant tree that fell down inside the pasture. This had to be, I don't know, maybe during the winter sometime. This was a tree that when we bought the property, was already leaning. It was still alive and it was still rooted right here, but it was leaning <clears throat> and being said, hello, hello, and propped up against another tree. Well, we had a, a storm blow through and this guy finally crashed down. Nobody, I mean, we were all home, but nobody heard it. It happened overnight. 
And now we decided that we're just gonna leave it for the goats. We always see the goats up there crawling on it and jumping off of it. We're gonna clear out some of the, um, some of the smaller branches so it's a little bit more cleaned up. But we figure as we start taking down some dead trees in the property, if the trunks are in good standing, we're gonna haul them over here and kind of build a little parkour course for the goats because you're a loud drinker. Because goat parkour is kind of a thing, I guess. Huh, Todd? Lottie demonstrates that daily. Man, these dogs bark all the time. We were warned about it. I shouldn't say warned. We were told about it before we got the breed and we knew it, but I don't think there's any way to prepare for it, <laughs> like adequately prepare for it. Benji, that is a that is a not a riding lawnmower, big man. Sorry. I'm sorry. You just want to, oh my gosh. Anything with a motor, you guys, a motor and wheels. He's a machine. The tractor, the ATV, any wagon, any push cart, any lawnmower, the trailer. He has, I mean, virtually zero interest in like toy toys. He just wants to play with machines, which can't blame him. They're kind of fun. Bye. 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 Hey, why don't you go send Lottie home? Why don't you go send Lottie home? Go do your job. She's eating all of mom's rose bushes. Go get her back in the barnyard. Can you do that for me? Yeah, go find Lottie, go get her. Where's she? Uh-oh, the puppies are out. Your buddy Ollie's out. I see him. Go get Ollie, go get him. Go get Ollie. Excuse me, sir. Can I have your license and registration, please? Yeah? Oh, you left it at home? Hmm. So how many how many milks have you had? Um, are, are you? Excuse me. Unacceptable behavior. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you to step down from the tractor, young man. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Can you turn the lights off at least? Alright, dinner is ready. Chicken, rice, peppers. This isn't just, peppers. This isn't just chicken. This is chicken. No, oh, chicken. With chicken. Do you have onions? With some onions. Onions. Right. Chickens, onions, rice. Do you think you're gonna have a redo of your race with Jonah? Tonight? Absolutely not. No, oh, my leg is sorry. I'm bummed. Back for you. All right, sign us if out. If you might have beat Jonah with speed, but he's weak as they get. <laughs> sign us out, Toby. Such a coward. <laughs> Bye. Got about my faith in love to make the whole thing disappear.